All right, so this is four divided by x equals nine. I know you're probably looking at this and being like, well, what do I do? So we know that since it's four divided by x, we can't subtract the four because that doesn't make sense. So let's rewrite it. Four divided by x is the same as four over x because that looks the same. It's four divided by x, but it looks in a way where we can solve it a little bit better. So four divided by x equals nine. So remember, we always wanna get x by itself. We always wanna have numbers on one side. So we usually do x divided by four, and we know that we can just multiply it by four to get the right answer. But this is a little different because it's divided by x, and we can't just multiply by x because that's throwing a random x somewhere. So what you do here is you look at it as a fraction. So four over x is the same as four over one x, because remember, x is always one. So we can rewrite it down here where it says four over one x is equal to nine. Now it's easier for us to separate that x. So when we looked here, it's four divided by x, we gotta do the opposite of division because we know this is still division. So the opposite of division is multiplication. So we're gonna multiply, but we have to do the opposite of four over one. So when we do fractions, we always do the opposite fraction. The opposite fraction is one over four. So we would multiply four over one by one fourth, and that cancels out because you get four because you multiply across, and then you get four here, and that gives you that single one. So that means x is by itself. But remember, don't ever forget this. What we do to the left, we do to the right, because right now you would think that the answer is nine, but it's not, because we have to multiply one fourth to the right side as well. So that means you get nine times one fourth. So that means x is equal to, remember you would put that one, so it'd be nine over one, times one over four. And then you multiply across, so you get nine times one, so nine, one times four is four. So you should have nine fourths for your answer, so it should be D.